Hello, my name is Dr. Greg Simcoe, and some very exciting research has just come out from the uh, Department of Psychiatry and Behavioral Sciences at the University of California. Um, this is actually March 21st, 2011, and what they discovered is that they uh, did a uh, blood analysis of uh, autistic children, and they discovered that there was uh, detection of plasma autoantibodies to brain tissue. What that means is that the person or the child's immune system has antibodies, in other words, a way of attacking its own brain. Now, isn't that fascinating? So, what does that mean? It, is, it implies that perhaps autism is an autoimmune disease. Um, autoimmune diseases are, uh, you, you've heard of some autoimmune diseases, MS is one of them, or um, even uh, Parkinson's could be a, a, an autoimmune disease. Uh, lupus is another type of autoimmune disease. Crohn's is another type of autoimmune disease. Um, what they've discovered here is that there's antibodies to a child's brain. Can you imagine what that does to child brain development if their own body is attacking their brain? Now, there's no explanation in the research as to why this is occurring, um, but they did discover that indeed it is occurring to some degree. So what can actually be done about that? What can you do for your child to help them mitigate or reduce the amount of impact this immune response has to their brain and actually cause them to have all those social problems, those interaction problems, those verbal communication problems that they experience with autism. Now autism is one of the worst forms of brain developmental problems on a spectrum from autism to ADD or ADHD. And there has been no link to, in, in terms of autoimmunity to ADD or ADHD, but this is the first link that I've discovered that is with autoimmunity and autism. So what can be done? Well, autoimmunity is basically your immune system is a little haywire, and it is haywire because of a reaction to a certain type of event or food. Uh, certain foods, our body may not be able to process uh, sufficiently to a degree where they are broken down that our body can use them. So our body looks at this food that's not completely broken down as a foreign substance, a foreign body. And it wants to attack it and wants to kill it. And that's what our immune system is supposed to do. It's supposed to kill things that don't belong in our body. So if this food doesn't belong in our body and your immune system looks at it and says, hey, it turns on, it says, that's not something that is good, let's go kill it, it starts killing it. What happens if the child keeps eating this food's type? Well, the immune system sort of gets exhausted or gets a little crazy and starts attacking your own tissues. Um, and that is what they seem to be finding in blood plasma levels of these children with autism is that they have some type of autoimmune problem. Isn't that fascinating? So to mitigate this, to help that, it would be advisable to reduce the amount of foods that cause this kind of problem. And there are three major foods that can be linked to some type of sensitivity within the body or uh, sort of making the immune system go a little haywire. And that happens to be wheat is one of them, milk is another, and soy products is a third. So wheat being any type of pasta, any type of bread, any of those crackers or stuff like that, the goldfish are also have wheat in them. Um, milk products, well, cheeses, milk, okay, yogurt, uh, and soy products, soy sauce or soy bean curd or, you know, tofu and such as that, that can actually cause, possibly cause an autoimmune reaction which would spike up this autoantibody occurring. So what can you do for your child? If you have no idea if they are sensitive to this, can you get a plasma test? Well, plasma tests are okay, but they're not very efficient. Um, what you can do uh, just right today, or if you see this video, is get your child off those three things and see what happens after 35 to 40, 50 days and see if they actually show any improvement. Now, there may be other sensitivities that are causing this autoimmunity, but the three big ones are what I just mentioned, wheat, milk, and soy products. So try that. 
If it works, great. If it doesn't, and you want to investigate this more, find a physician that knows what they're talking about in this regard. Because there are ways of determining if there are other sensitivities causing this autoimmunity to occur. With that, have a good day.